Hey you guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out the brand new ColourPop It's Your Lucky Day collection. This is a new collection that has a bunch of different products. We have the Lucky Penny eyeshadow palette, we have some blush and highlight stick duos, and yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that comes in this collection. I'll be doing close-ups and swatches of everything, and then I'll also be creating this look for you guys and doing lip swatches of all of the lip shades. So I hope you guys are all excited about today's video. If you are, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So first up we have the Lucky Penny eyeshadow palette, which is a nine pan palette. And this palette has coppers, gold, terracottas, and more according to the little insert that comes in the PR box. So here are what the shades look like. The color story of this palette is definitely right up my alley. I love shades like this. So I think I'm really gonna like this palette and I love that there are more mattes than shimmers. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch all of the shades. First up we have shiny objects. Next is the shade Token. Like New. Copperhead. Favor. Hit it big. Coin. Making sense. And the last shade, I believe it's called Bullion. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's a dark brown. All right, so here are all of the shades from the Lucky Penny palette. A very pretty palette. I wouldn't say it's anything special, but the shades are pretty, especially if you like coppers and terracotta shades. So next up, we have three of their Blush and Light Sticks duos, and I was so excited whenever I saw that these came in this collection because I love their Blush and Light Sticks. They're so good. So first up, we have a Pretty Penny duo, and this has the shades On a Streak and Cash In. So here's what they look like. How cute is this packaging? So first up is the Blush Stick in the shade Cash in. Then we have the light sticks in the shade on a streak. So here are both of those shades. These are both very pretty. These look like they will be good for like very fair skin. Next up we have Good in Copper, which has the shades Happy Accident and Got Change. So the blush sticks is Got Change. And the light sticks is Happy Accident. So there are both of those. I believe this set is made for more like maybe medium to deep skin tones. And the last duo is My Two Cents, which has the shades Minted and Spot Me. Here is the blush in the shade Spot Me. And the light sticks in the shade Minted. All right, so here are all three of the duos swatched. The last one that we just swatched is probably for like light to medium, and then we have like fair, I would say even light could use this, and then medium to deep. So there are all three of the duos swatched. And lastly, we have three shades of their Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipsticks, and here are the three shades. So first up, we have the shade called Penny Pincher. I have a feeling that I'm going to love these. That was not the best swatch. I added a little bit more, but that is a very pretty shade. Then we have the shade called Tried and True. I have a feeling this one will be my favorite because it's kind of like a warm terracotta shade, which I love. These seem to have a pretty thin formula, so I did have to layer both of those twice. And lastly, we have the shade On a Roll. Ooh, this one's very pretty. Okay, I love all three of those shades. They're all very pretty, and I think they'll be perfect for the fall time. All right, so the first thing we're gonna try out are the blush and highlight sticks, and since these are cream products, that's why I don't have any makeup on right now. 
So what I'm gonna do is quickly apply some foundation and then we're gonna come back and I'm going to apply them to the cheeks. So I think I'm gonna start with the lightest duo. I will probably use this one and then maybe the other one that's kind of like light to medium. So we're gonna take the blush sticks and this one is the shade Cash In. And I always just like to apply these like straight onto my face and kind of build them up because they blend out very nicely. Yeah, this shade might be a little bit light for me right now because I am self-tanned. Even self-tanned, I'm like super pale. Yeah, that's a little light for me right now. So what I think I'm gonna do is grab the blush from the My Two Cents Duo. And this one was called Spot Me. And I'm just gonna apply it right over where I put the other one. I really love the ColourPop blush sticks. I feel like they're not talked about enough. I use these all the time. They blend out just so nicely. I love these for every day and they wear really nicely throughout the day. They're not like crazy pigmented or anything, but they just blend really nicely over foundation and they look natural. That's why I like them whenever I like wear them to work. But yeah, so there is that. It doesn't really look very good with the sponge. I feel like maybe because these are new they're more creamy than my other ones which are kind of dried out so those I can apply with a sponge I feel like I might have to go in with a brush with these because they're like really creamy okay I grabbed a brush I'm just gonna kind of tap the brush yeah definitely applies better with a brush I really think that my other ones are just like a little bit dried out because they're older so you can apply them with a sponge without them kind of fading away also going to apply that same one on the other cheek and I'm just gonna tap it out with a brush again. I'm not gonna go in with that lightest shade. I just don't really see the point because it didn't show up the best, but that shade will probably be good for like super fair skin. It would probably work for me if I wasn't self tanned right now. So I think I might mix both light sticks from those duos. So first I'm gonna take minted and I'm just going to, ooh yeah, that might be a little bit dark. I'm gonna kind of just blend it on the tops of my cheeks and then blend out with my sponge, which is what I like to do every day when I go to work, but I use a different shade, obviously. I don't think I'm gonna use this shade on my nose because it's a little bit too dark for me. Now I'm gonna go in with On A Streak and hopefully this one, yeah, shows up. Oh, maybe not. Oh no, like I feel like the glitter in it or like the shimmer is lighter, but the actual base color is a little bit darker. So I feel like I might have like a line on my face. Maybe not, maybe if I blend out more, you won't be able to tell. Yeah, if you are lighter than me, none of these light sticks are gonna work for you. They're all a little bit too dark. Man, this could have been a really pretty color if they would have made the base color a tiny bit lighter because like the shimmer in it is lighter, but the base color is darker. So I feel like it looks a little strange almost. Okay. I'm a little disappointed in the light sticks only because I don't have a shade here that matches me, but that's okay. It's a really good product in general. So if you are darker than me, you probably could make any of those work. So now I'm going to apply some concealer and kind of set my face and I will be right back. So I went ahead and set my face. As I said, I'm not like super impressed with the blue blush and light sticks in this collection right now. Like the formula is good, but these shades are not my favorite. So that's more like a personal opinion. So it's not really anything to do with the product itself. But yeah, I didn't really find that any of the shades worked that great for my skin tone. So if you're around the same skin tone as me, I don't know if you will like any of these shades, but now let's move on to the eyeshadow palette. So we're gonna be using the Lucky Penny palette. So I'm first gonna take the dark brown from the palette and this shade's gonna go down first. You guys know I like to do this type of look when I'm testing out a new palette just so I know if the quality is good since I can do this look pretty easily. As I said a million times, I'm not like a makeup artist or anything. I just really like makeup. So my looks don't always turn out like completely perfect, but I'm just gonna kind of map out the shape that I want. I'm not gonna go too high with this shade because we don't want it to be too dark high up in the crease. So this is basically just reverse blending where you start with the darkest shade and then go out to the lightest. You can totally do the same look and start with the lighter shades if that is easier for you. Now I'm gonna grab this shade right here and I'm just going to tightly blend this right above the first shade. This one will go just a little bit higher. I say it in every video, but this look is going to look like really bad until right at the end, whenever we cut our crease in, put down the lid shades and then kind of blend everything together. But for the first like few steps, it's just gonna look like super messy. So just keep that in mind before you come for me in the comments. Now I'm gonna take the shade called Token and I'm just gonna blend right above the last shade once again. This is gonna be probably the lightest shade. Yeah, it's the lightest shade in the palette. So this will be the last one that I put down and I'm just gonna lightly blend this all along the edges of the lash shade just to kind of diffuse any harsh lines. We want it to look 
nice and faded out and just blended in general. So hopefully these three shades can blend nicely together by the end. So off camera, I just took a little brush and some concealer and kind of put it all over the lid and just made the shape that I wanted. So now we're gonna add some shimmery shades to the lid. I'm first gonna take the shade called Shiny Objects and I'm just going to put this right on the inner part of the lid. I am feeling some fallout already on the face, so hopefully it doesn't stick to my face makeup. This is such a pretty shade though. I really like it a lot. So now I'm gonna grab Favor and we're just gonna start blending this kind of down the center of the lid. Also a gorgeous shade. And lastly, I'm gonna grab Make In Sense. And I'm just going to apply this on the outer part and we'll kind of blend it in with the darker outer corner. So now that the lids are done, we're gonna move on to the lower lash line. And I really wanna use this shade right here called Coin. So I think I'm just gonna kind of press this all along the lower lash line and then kind of blend it out a little bit. So I might just take my little brush that I used with the lash shade up there and kind of blend along the bottom of this so it's kind of diffused on the edges. I'm also going to add a little bit of the dark brown from the outer corner and just kind of press this right along the lash line. All right, so I went ahead and applied some mascara. So here is the completed look using the new Lucky Penny palette. So now the last thing we need to do is try out the lipsticks. These are the Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. And yeah, I'm gonna do lip swatches of all three of the shades. So first up we have On A Roll, which is the deepest shade. So these actually are a very thin formula, like I mentioned whenever I swatch them on my arm, but it also makes them much easier to apply because they're not like super thick and they definitely look like very velvety. Oh, I love the shade. All right, so I might end up having like a new favorite ColourPop lip product. I actually am like obsessed with the formula of this. I don't think I've ever tried these before, but it just went on so smooth. It doesn't feel drying on the lips or anything. The formula is nice and thin, so it's easy to apply. It has a very nice applicator that's like kind of pointy, so it's easy to get like the edges of your lips. And yeah, I love this and this shade is perfect for the fall. So yeah, this shade was called On A Roll. Next up is the shade Penny Pincher. So here is the shade Penny Pincher. This one is the lightest one in the collection. I would say this is probably gonna be like my least favorite. It is a pretty shade, but I just feel like it's kind of like a little bit boring. It's very similar to a lot of other lip shades I have, and I think I just like the other two better. So yeah, this was the shade Penny Pincher. Now I'm gonna try out the last shade, which is called Tried and True. All right, so here is the shade Tried and True. I love this one. This one and then the shade On A Roll are definitely my favorite. I could do without the shade Penny Pincher. It is a pretty shade, but I just have so many lip shades already like this in my collection. So that's why it's probably like my least favorite. So yeah, overall, I feel like this is another great collection from ColourPop. If I had to recommend something to you guys, it would probably be the eyeshadow palette. Of course, you guys know I love their eyeshadow palettes. If you're really into like coppers and terracotta, you will love this palette. It's a really great palette for the fall time. And then the lip products are amazing. This formula is so good. These are a very thin liquid lipstick, which is my favorite kind of liquid lipstick, just because I find that these are easier to apply and they're more comfortable. And these are velvet liquid lipsticks, so they make your lips look like super smooth. Like I love the way that this looks on my lips. I am so impressed. I don't think I've tried this lip product before, but as I said earlier, I could definitely see this being one of my new favorite ColourPop lip products. And yeah, those are probably my favorite things in this collection. 
Um, I really like their blush and light sticks, but I just didn't really like any of the shades that came in this collection personally. So if you've never tried any of their blush and light sticks, I would recommend this product. If you guys see shades that you like, you could probably make them work, but if you are around my skin tone, the highlighters probably won't work for you, but the product is actually a really great one. So that one's kind of tough for me because I'm not really into the shades, but I do really like the products. Like the blush and light sticks are probably one of my favorite ColourPop products, but yeah, the palette and then these two lip products were definitely my favorite thing in this collection. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you guys going to pick anything up? And if you are planning to pick anything up, which were your favorite that I showed you today? So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for you. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Also, make sure you have your notifications turned on. That way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I'm going to have all of these products linked in my description box below if you want to check any of them out. I don't think that these have launched yet, but I will put links there as soon as they do launch and I'll also put pricing there as well. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.